operators are used to perform various operations on variables and values. In this lesson, we'll do an overview of several operators. It's important to note that PHP divides operators into the following groups. Arithmetic operators, assignment operators, comparison operators, increment and decrement operators, logical operators, sting, string operators, and array operators. Because of the amount of operators that can be found across these groups, we'll go over a few examples in each group. The file used in this lesson is located in your downloads folder. You can use it for future reference and also go through each operator if you require further information. We'll start with arithmetic operators. The first section in our PHP file provides an example of the different arithmetic operators available, including addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus. We can see the output of each echo statement in our web browser. So for example, we've set variable x to equal 50 and variable y to equal 20. The first example here, the first echo statement, uses the addition operator to add the value of variable x with y, and the output is 70. The second example subtracts x minus y, and our output is 30. So it's fairly straightforward. Going down the file, the next operator we have here is the assignment operator. An assignment operator is used to set the value of the left operand to the expression on the right. In this equation, we have variable x, and we use a single equal sign to assign the value 20 to x. So if we were to create an echo statement and output the value of x, well, it would be 20. So we've set the right expression We've set that value to x, and that is known as an assignment operator. It assigns the value over. Comparison operators are used to compare two values, numbers, or strings. In the first example, we've set the value of x to 300 and y to 300 with quotes. Okay, so no quotes and quotes. We've used the var dump function to compare x to y using a double equal sign. The double equal sign is going to check if the value on the left is equal to the value on the right. And because 300 is equal to 300, our output is true. The next operator is three equal signs. So the variable of x and y are set to the same values again, 300 and 300 with quotes for y. Three equal sign, signs will check to see if x is identical to y. And we know it's not identical because y has quotes surrounding it. So the output is false in our web browser because they are not identical. You can go through the remainder of the comparison operators to see the result. Uh, they're fairly straightforward and the comments explain what each one does. Increment operators are used to increment or decrement the value of a variable. If we take a look at the second example, we can see that the initial value of x is set to 50. Using the plus plus x, in this case, so if our variable was named anything else, we'd replace x with the variable name. We can increment the value of this variable by 1. And you can see on the right-hand side, 50 has been incremented by 1 for a result of 51. 
In the next example, we can see that we've decremented uh, the value of 50. So x is again equal to 50, and using the minus minus variable operator, we have decremented by 1, from 50 to 49. Logical operators are used to combine conditional statements. So in the first example here, we have two variables, x and y. x is set to 200, and y is set to 300. We then use an AND operator to check if x is equal to 200 and y is equal to 300. We'll be working a lot more with if statements later on in this course. But in a nutshell, we've instructed the script to output the word true if both these conditions are met. And in this case, the conditions are met, so in our web browser, we get an output of true. In the second example, all of the, everything is more or less the same. The difference is we use the OR operator. So if x is equal to 200 or y is equal to 90, we'll output the word true. Since one of these conditions are met, x is equal to 200, we get an output of true. And that's how the logical operators work. There's a few others you can go through as well. Next, we have string operators. And these are specifically to be used with strings. The first example here allows us to attach one string variable to another. In this case, our web browser will output hello and world on the same line. It's attached the value of x with y using the, the period there. And so you can see the output here, hello world, on the same line. Now we have array operators as well. Array operators allow us to compare and manipulate arrays. In the first example, we've created a union of two arrays. So we have array x and array y. Array x has its own set of values, blue and red. And array y has its values, pink and brown. And using the plus sign, we've, we've, we've created a union of the x array and the y array. So we can see in the output that all the colors of both arrays are listed. And you can go through the other array operators as well. Some of these operators we'll be using in different sections of this course. So again, there's a lot here. It's, it's a fairly long script. And it's more for reference purposes. And um, you can definitely go through it and see what each one does. All the outputs will be in your web browser when you preview the file.